behaving as partners most of the time, meaning I'm holding high respect for myself, high respect for the other. Nicholas, it's nice to meet you. Very nice to meet you too. Great. So now, and that you know, I got a genuine smile on my face. If Nicholas was, let's say, under pressure, he's he goes predator. In this situation, because I'm holding high enough respect for myself, the respect I'm showing him has more value. And he, he as a predator wants to keep that coming. So he's more likely to behave himself and recalibrate his own behavior to play partner with me. So the point is, both people don't have to be playing partner for this to work. It's a lot easier, it's more enjoyable, except the reality is we can influence and invite other people to become partners with us. By contrast, if Nicholas was more of uh, a prey under pressure, and I'm showing up as high, competent, friendly partner, he's feeling safe and respected, and he's more likely to play partner with me, to stay in partner. So that's where this model has so much power. As long as you're able to manage your own behavior, most of the time, you're going to be able to influence other people if they're misbehaving, so to speak.